Welcome back to the channel guys. Today, as you can see behind us, we have absolutely filthy water. I've been waiting for this video to happen. We've got a ton of rain over the past three days, like almost over an inch. And my backyard's been flooded. Um, everything's been flooding. The creeks have been blown out. So I knew this water was gonna be dirty. This is way dirtier than I expected it to be. So we're gonna test myself in this video here, trying to show you how these tips work. Um, I have never seen this lake this dirty ever. Usually this stays pretty clear, uh, but we got some really muddy water here and we're gonna try and put some tips to the test to hopefully show you the secrets to catching some fish in some dirty water. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is our bait selection. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about what you need to look for in dirty water to make sure you're catching fish or at least have your bait in the area where the fish live. And then lastly, we'll go out on the water. We'll try and put it all together and see if we can catch us a bass or two in this dirty water. It's gonna be a real challenge. This is, like I said, extremely dirty for what this lake is used to. These fish usually never see the lake like this. Um, so this is a shock to them and it's gonna make it tough to get them to bite on top of that we also have cold dirty water we're only in the 46 degree water temperature um, but we're going to try our best to put it together hopefully these tips will have you catching more bass in muddy water after today's video so the first thing when it comes to fishing muddy water is it limits your bait selection so you're only going to have a few options to pick from um, it's mostly because those fish are going to have a hard time finding the bait so there's two ways that you can help them find the bait uh, and allow you to actually get some bites one is to go color you're going to throw like something with red orange or truce something bright color to it if you're using like those reactionary baits and something that really has a lot of flash to it so that they can find it or you're going to use something like this here if you're fishing a bottom bouncing bait like a texas rig or a jig you're going to go with a dark color whether it's black black and blue something that has some contrast to it so that those fish can find that bait when it's dragging in front of their face if you're using a watermelon red it's really just not going to show up that well and the fish are going to have a hard time finding it the second thing that's very important uh, and probably more important than color when you're fishing your baits this time is vibration. They're gonna feel the bait more than they're gonna see the bait. So if you can compare the if you compare those two together, a color and vibration, you're gonna have a lot more luck catching fish in dirty water. It might not be the key, you might not catch a bazillion fish doing it, uh, but it's gonna be better than zero. It, you might have some tough fishing, but it'll help you catch more. So vibration baits you can use is something like a square bill over a flat sided crankbait, a chatter bait, um, a spinner bait, depending on the blade selection that you choose. Um, I don't have any with Colorado blades, but I picked something with some bigger willow leaf blades than some of the smaller willow leaf blades. Even though um, that doesn't have the same vibration as a Colorado blade, a bigger blade is still gonna put off more thump. Uh, like I said, the chatterbait, you could even go to the big blade chatterbait to allow them to find it. You could go to a red big bladed chatterbait and really allow them to find it. It depends on how muddy your water is. So something like this, you're gonna to wanna to use something, this isn't as dirty as it can get. Uh, it can still get even dirtier than this. So something like that square bill or even like a heavy thumping spinnerbait will do just fine. If it gets even dirtier, that's when you're gonna to have to go to like those fire craw colors, pure reds, red and black, something with very high contrast and very high vibration. That's the only way those fish are gonna be able to find that bait. Um, it's not gonna be, the perfect ticket there's still a few more tips that you're going to have to focus on to actually get the bites when you're using those color baits uh, but if you start there rather than a natural bait that's going to start helping you catch more fish and then a couple other tips that we'll implement out there on the water will finish it up and help you really catch the most amount of fish possible in muddy water like i said these fish have a hard time finding the bait it's not going to be easy um, you might not catch a bunch of fish while you're out there but if you get them usually there'll be some good bites in that dirty water just because those fish really can feel that bait they can look for it uh, and sometimes the bigger ones are just easier to trick in muddy water because they can't see the bait as well so sometimes that's why it's easier to catch a bigger fish in dirty water lastly before we go out on the water we're going to talk about one more tip uh, with fishing muddy water if you imagined if your room you had the lights on clear water that's what it would be like you can see everything you're comfortable you don't need to like feel your way around if you want to get up and leave you just get up and walk out of the room when it gets dirty like this, those fish cannot see anything. It's a lot harder for them to see. They have to feel their way around. So what they're going to do is find a place that they can just sit next to and wait for that water to clear up. So it could be a log, a rock, a brush pile. It does not matter, uh, but they're not just gonna roam and they're not gonna just chase bait way out away from the piece of cover. So we'll show you that while we're actually fishing, but you need to get your bait right in the cover. That's the biggest piece. Um, it needs to be like touching the cover. You need to be bouncing off the piece of 
of wood, whatever you're trying to fish, that's the only way they're going to find the bait. You basically have to hit them in the head with the bait for them to find it. And secondly, they're going to hang tight to something, so you have to find stuff for them to hang next to. Uh, they'll wait for bait fish to come to them, or the bait fish will also just be hanging tight to something because they can't see either. Uh, and that's just going to be the easiest way to catch some fish or at least target where they should be. So logs is a great one, especially in the springtime like this when we have cold water and sun. Um, those logs are going to heat up faster than anything else around. So not only can't they see, but those logs are warmer. So they're going to get warm and they're going to have something safe to hold next to and be able to wait for something to come by and get it. You just have to put it where those fish live. So let's head out on the water. We're going to fish around some dirty water and hopefully we'll catch a couple along the way. So when it comes to fishing muddy water, this is going to be the biggest secret of all. So today we're going to use the jig just because this water is super dirty compared to what this lake usually is. Uh, so it's going to help them find it, not only because it's the dark black and blue contrast, but also because I can literally put it right in their face. So like I talked about, they're going to hold right next to cover. They're going to get as tight as they can to whatever piece of cover they can hang on that will make them feel comfortable. It could be a big log, uh, it could be a little tiny twig, it, it really just depends. But they're also going to use it for warmth. I mean, we've had the water warm up probably three and a half, four degrees since this morning. So this is going to hold warmth as well in this muddy water. And all I'm going to do is drag this jig as slowly as I can and literally try and hit one in the face. Uh, you can go two routes when you're fishing dirty water. You can either fish super slow and put that bait in the fish's face and make sure they see it and they cannot resist it because they're going to eat whatever they can find. Like if an opportunity comes, if a meal comes by, they're not going to turn it down. Uh, but they're not going to go looking for one either away from their comfortable log. So you either have to put it right in their face or you have to use something very bright that will catch their attention and get it close enough that they'll be able to see it and react to it. Um, I'm going to go with the jig today just because I can get it right in front of their face. You're going to have to make multiple casts at pieces of cover. You're going to have to get it close. If you feel like you didn't get it close enough and didn't get a bite but a fish should be there, cast even closer. See how close you can get to the piece of cover uh, and that'll give you your best chance of success at landing a big bass. So we're going to flip this jig around and all this nice pieces of wood up here and see if we can find one that's hanging tight and potentially willing to fall for our little jig right here. That felt good. It's in a bush. There we go. It's another big one. Oh my gosh. Jeez. And that is why you fish a jig in muddy water. I fished that log earlier with a crankbait. I caught nothing. That fish was sitting way off on the end of this brush pile here, just hanging out there waiting for something to come by. I dragged it through there two or three times, and that time she ended up grabbing it. She actually is blind in one eye, so not only is she at a disadvantage of finding it in muddy water, She's also blind, so we're gonna weigh her up. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video talking about how to fish muddy water. That's the key. Make sure your bait has vibration or color. Find some cover that they can hold next to, stay close to something, and fish very, very slowly. I mean, we've been fishing this bank for over an hour. We only got one bite, but you're gonna get good ones just like that right there. So we're gonna go ahead and let her go. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you wanna see some jig fishing tips to help you dial in your jig for fishing this type of cover, go ahead and check this video out right here. Thanks for watching.